Hey there, welcome back to another episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. I'm Eric. And I'm Josh. And today I have a question for you, Eric. How do you use your grass brushes in Photoshop? Okay, so first of all, you going to have to have my brushes. So you can download those in the link in the comments below, or you can go over to my DeviantArt account and download them there. I do have quite a few, um, but the one that I always usually start with is this brush here. It kind of looks like, I don't know, like a, what would you say that looks like? A fan. A, a sen, <laughs> like a, like a, a sen, fan. Senpu. Yeah, so I already have kind of like a, a color in the background here. Uch but Uchiha. If this if the shape is really big, all you can see is it's just adding like texture. So what, if I is that? Hmm? Oh, so the 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 brush is actually not just that shape; it's a variation of that shape. Across yeah. So what it's wide. doing is it's scattering it in both its angle and its size and opacity based on how hard I'm pushing against the canvas. So all this does is create a field with grass that kind of looks like it's pretty shallow. Are you using different colors there, or are you just? Yeah, I'm picking up like some color. dark and some lighter colors as I'm going across. Like if I go up here and try to use a lighter color, you can see that I'm like introducing like a like a brighter area in the middle. So this is really good for a field with very defocused grass. But if I want to do like like deeper grass, I usually use this one here, which kind of looks like it's going the wrong direction. Uh, and what this does is it actually makes little blades of grass, and it's doing the same thing. It's just like angling it and um, changing the size as I move across the canvas. What what shape would you say that grass is? Is it just normal grass? Lump. <laughs> Lump grass. It's um it's soyza. All right. All right. <laughs> I, I, I get you. Yeah. It's tall fescue. It's like the grass in, in your sushi dish. <laughs> A little green plastic thing. <laughs> no, it's it's more <laughs> vibrant than that. <laughs> So yeah, I just kind of pick up dark colors, pick up a light color, and kind of stack them over and over again until I get something that looks a little like, I don't know, like has some depth to it. I usually like to put like an area of like highlight in the middle, so I'll go to the middle section here and grab a little lighter color. But you don't want to keep like, like too much in like one place because then you're not going to get that nice stack. Are you, so you're mixing and matching both of these textures? Yeah, so I just put one over the other. Oh. Yeah. I mean, sometimes I'll like, take a pic oh well i guess i can't do that here but like i might take a piece of away and then have just the other texture there but everything is going to behave a little differently i even have grasses that kind of give more definition to the edges so if i want to go out here i can kind of like oh uh -huh. I, I was like just going to ask edge. how you would do like strands of grass but it looks right. like you have another brush for that yeah so this is more like the strands of strands of grass where the other ones are kind of like in the I don't know, like they're all the same kind of length. So it's kind of like a little mound of grass. And then if I want, you know, there's a lot of uh, bushes and stuff like that. But I also like to include like little places where there might be like rocks popping through too. And that's with this brush right here. Ooh, so we're getting a, a double whammy on this workshop. Mm -hmm. Rocks and grass. <laughs> a little bit of rocks and some grass. Nice. No, I, I can always put like a, a couple little bushes in there too. Oh my goodness. Yeah. But it's real easy, quick and easy to make grass when you have the uh, the brushes here working for you uh, as they make that kind of pattern all over. How would you do grass that's more featured, like in a foreground? I, I would probably probably actually do it with the strand brush that I showed you, which was this one. Oh. And maybe like if they were like way up in the front uh, foreground, make it a bit bigger. Oh, so, I see. Okay. Yeah. Well, interesting. Yeah. So is, is your grass advice? <laughs> I wish that was a pun, but it's not. <laughs> it's grass-tastic. <laughs> your, your grass is, is at grass. Wait, I'm going to mow the... No. Well, anyway, uh, thanks for that, Eric. <laughs> uh, that's very interesting. Yeah. Did I hand you your grass? Oh, oh I got you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Yes, <yeah. laughs> <laughs> well, I hope this helped you, and we'll see you on the next episode of Backseat Drawing Workshops. Smell you later. Bye.